welcome to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to buy a graphics card in 2018 without paying mining prices. As we know, cryptocurrency mining has blown the price of graphics cards up. Some cards are selling brand new for 150% of MSRP, which is just mind-boggling to me. But if you want to mine cryptocurrency, it can kind of make sense to buy at that price. But what about me and you? What about gamers, people who don't want to mine cryptocurrency? Well, we can still upgrade. We can still get newer graphics cards, but we've got to put our thinking caps on. We've got to be inventive because cryptocurrency mining is blowing the price of graphics cards out of the water and until Nvidia or AMD or both hopefully increase their production and how many cards they're sending out, we're going to have this problem. So I'm going to teach you guys today how to get graphics cards in 2018 without having to pay the 150% over the normal MSRP. So my number one tip here to buying a graphics card in 2018 is to buy used. For some reason, people are so scared to buy used PC hardware when really, as long as you see it working before you buy it in, say, this person's system, you shouldn't have any issues. I know people who have actually taken their own systems to pick up a graphics card to test it in. That's fine. Whatever you want to do. Every time I bought a used PC part on Craigslist, the seller is more than happy to show me it works. And if you want a graphics card in 2018, this is kind of one of your only options. Now, you're not going to get brand new here. You're going to get upgraded. Let's say you have an NVIDIA 760 right now. You could upgrade to a 980 Ti for probably 300, 400 bucks, depending on your area and the supply in your area and all that stuff. And you're still going to have a kick ass gaming experience. I run a 980 Ti behind me and I can kill most games at 4K Ultra Set. So you don't have to get the newest and the best to upgrade and be able to play a ton more games. So buying the used hardware itself is a great way to do it. It allows you to upgrade, get a better graphics card without having to pay the full price of any graphics cards, even the used one, right? You're not paying as much as it was new and you're getting a new piece of hardware. But that's not the only way to buy used. Another way to buy used is buying a completed system, an entire gaming PC that is already built, already set up. Now you might be asking yourself, Nick, I've already got a gaming PC. I don't need another one. Well, yeah, you might, because listen to this. The system works like this. You buy, say, a used system with a NVIDIA 980 Ti in it for a thousand bucks. It's got an i7 in there. You probably flip that for $150. Sell the case for 50 bucks. Go ahead, get rid of the power supply, another 50. Sell the motherboard for another $50. And before you know it, you've parted out a PC. And depending on the components in it, you might end up making enough to where, honestly, the graphics card overall cost you 200 bucks. Now, this is a lot more work, but it is a way to get inventive. Remember, guys, we've got to put our thinking caps on. And sometimes buying a $1,000 PC completely built system is actually cheaper than buying a brand new graphics card on the market today. That is how much these prices are inflated, so you've got to get inventive. I personally am looking to buy a system very soon, not for the graphics card to use here on the channel for tutorials and things like that, but looking at systems, you can get badass systems on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, Letgo, places like that for a tenth of the price they cost new, and we're only talking about hardware that's a couple years old, guys. I mean, I'm currently talking to a guy who has a 980 Ti and an i7 7700K, plus a motherboard, plus a case, plus all that stuff for just $750. It's a guy who's going off to college, he needs the money, that sort of a deal. So if you look on Craigslist and take your time and don't rush into it, you can find a ton of awesome PC hardware or complete systems to buy. So don't be afraid to get inventive and, and spend a thousand bucks for an entire system to then take out the processor and resell it for, like I said, $150 or something. So I think that's a little low specifically for an i7-7700K, but it really just depends on the hardware you're getting. So be sure to check other used prices on eBay and places like that. Now you don't have to buy used. There are a couple ways to buy new here. Primarily buying in a bundle. Newegg, Amazon, they run bundles all the time with say a motherboard graphics card and processor combo or just a motherboard and graphics card combo. And what this does is it makes it to where only gamers are going to be interested in that. A cryptocurrency miner is not interested in a gaming motherboard with two PCIe slots. They're just not. But a gamer is very interested in that. And so New Egg will take and lower the price of the hardware. They'll lower the price of everything to the actual MSRP or close to it and sell both items as a bundle. Now the downside of this is you might 
end up with a motherboard you don't need. You might end up with a processor you don't need, especially if you're looking to upgrade. Now, if you really want to buy new, another option is buying a few years old. For example, just a straight 980 is going to be a lot cheaper now than it was new, and those cards aren't too great for cryptocurrency mining, but they can be okay for gaming, so that's an option as well. Buying a few generations old card instead of a brand new one. This is great if you're upgrading, like I said earlier, from say a 760 to a straight up 980. That's a good upgrade. It's not going to be incredible, but it's going to feel incredible with that difference, right? That's a quite big jump up there. Now, the final option is to go to a PC builder. Let's say Alienware. Let's say Puget. Let's say people like that who are getting these cards in from the manufacturers directly at a lower price. And what that means is they're not jacking up the price of their graphics cards to you, the end consumer. They're getting a complete system built brand new and sending it to you with a graphics card that is priced appropriately. Now overall, you're going to be spending more money here, but if you're looking to build a brand new system, say you're entering into PC gaming, actually pre-built systems are kind of a good idea right now for the simple reason of graphics cards prices being so high. Once we see graphics card prices go down, start building them yourself again. I personally will always build computers myself, that's how I am, but if price is the biggest factor for you, and I know it is for most people, look at pre-built options, look at what you can get used, look at what's new if you were to build the system, compare everything, and see what the best price is. And that's really what this is, guys. I'm giving you guys options. You don't have to pay these incredible mining prices on GPUs, but what you do have to do is be inventive to get around it. Nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing a ton more content exactly like this with better editing, better graphics, better content overall, hopefully, and more focused on PC gaming and tech than, say, Minecraft and things like that. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let's get it out there in the community, get people watching the content, all of that awesome stuff. Anyway, guys, I am Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so much for watching again, and I am out, guys. Peace.